Okay, we're going to be doing injector cup installation on the N2 Detroit 60 heads. First thing we're doing here is removing the old cups. So we've inserted tool J33880-4. We come into the fire deck side and insert J5286-5. That just threads in by hand. And that's what's going to cut the um, flared end of the injector cup so we can remove it. The instructions do tell you to use a brass hammer. I'm using a steel hammer because we don't have a brass hammer in the shop yet. There's one on order. Um, while you're tapping away at it, you want to keep tightening up the... Well, either either end, I guess. Um, you can tighten it from the dash five or the dash four side. Of course, this is like I said. This is the N two version. Everything uh, N three and up, we're using threaded injector cups, so you don't have to remove the head. But I couldn't find any videos doing the N two style. Replacing the cups because uh, the flared end was leaking, so it was filling up the cylinder full of coolant. And you could just do whichever one your bad one is, but the cups only cost like 12 bucks, so I went ahead and do all of them. There's the old cup. You saw the little part get cut off there. And you just got to tap on it. You don't have to wail on it. And now you're going to clean out the injector cup seat real good. You don't want any crud in there fucking with the O-ring. I'm using a you know, compressed air, brake cleaner, a rag, and a scotch bright pad. There's actually a brush for that. You still have to purchase it. To be a lot easier with the valves removed as well. Okay, we're taking the thirty three eighty eight zero dash four. Installing the new cup onto it. I'm going to take off the new o ring and lubricate it. The instructions tell you to use petroleum jelly. No, I'm just using engine oil. Petroleum jelly would probably help a little bit better because it would, it would kind of hold the o ring onto the uh, cup while you're inserting it, but I wasn't having a problem using just engine, engine oil. Okay. Now, lightly tapping that in, this is where having the valves off will be make it easier. And you're just lightly tapping that in so the, um, the flared end comes out of the hole on the fire deck side. You don't want to whale that in there. Installing injector crab. Or injector hold down, whatever you want to call it. You're going to see me using the drill a lot. I'm not using the drill to tighten or to brake torque. I'm just using it to speed up the process of this video. So I'm just kind of getting it down there and then finishing it by hand. So I do not recommend using a drill unless you are going to uh, just do it lightly. We're torquing the injector crab down to the standard torque, 45 foot-pounds.
Okay, now we're installing the flaring tool, which is J5286-6. Again, I'm using a drill and you can see me finishing the tightening by hand. This gets torqued to 30 foot-pounds. And that's a 9 16th socket on that tool set. Unfortunately, the tool sets are getting hard to find. So if you don't already have it, you might be kind of up creek looking for one. Okay, again, removing it. Okay, we're taking out a uh, dash four tool. Up next, we've got the 33880-10 and the dash three. Those are the pilot, or excuse me, the injector tip uh, reamer guides. Now with that reamer, you're gonna do that by hand. You never put uh, that style of reamer in a power tool. In, in fact, the instructions um, do tell you, or do remind you, rather, of uh, not putting it in a drill press or anything like that. So you see me using a speed handle. Again, if the valves were not on there, I'd be able to use the proper um, handle. doesn't take much to clean that out. Now there's cutters um, on the bottom of that um, reamer which you don't want to hit the inside of the injector cup so when it you'll feel it push through just go ahead and stop you don't want it to bottom out um, when you push it down. Okay, so I removed the dash 10. Right now we're installing the 33880-20. And that's going to be the backstop for the injector cup reamer, or the seat reamer. So the seat reamer is 33880-1. But to take a couple steps back, I, I have a spare injector cup uh, crab that I'm keeping with that kit as well as two head bolts, uh, two old head bolts to torque down the, uh, the Dash 20. Um, I actually misspoke right there. The Dash 20 does not get torqued down per the instructions, um, so just tighten. You see me give her a little goose there at the end. So that Dash 20 um, is used as a guide for the injector cup reamer. There's a little pilot tip on the end of it. So as soon as that pilot tip impacts the front face of the, the Dash 20, that, um, that's, that's it. It's not going to go any farther. So 
again, you see me using a speed handle. This is removing the dash 20. Back around to the fire deck side. Okay, now I am going, there's a the uh, cutting tool for the excess tip, um, flared tip. I do put that in my drill. I can't imagine trying to hand do that. It would take quite a bit of effort. So we're just going to do that until it's flush. We have a Specified depth for that. Um, you're looking for flush to minus three thousandths, so that would be three thousandths below the fire deck. And that's going to be just inside your ability to feel with a fingernail, that three thousandths. Or you can use your sled gauge. But the uh, edge of the cutter uh, will impact the fire deck side, so you have to be mindful of that not to cut any material away from the fire deck. Um, being hardened steel, it shouldn't cut it, but it, it might gall the front of the cutter. Okay, right now I'm inserting the dash 733880-7. And what that does is do the final verification for the depth of the uh, injector tip. And what we're looking for there is flush to 8,000th. So you're definitely going to pull out your, your sled gauge there. So that's good to go.